Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to show you how can you utilize your pre-existing functions with your AI agent. So this AI agent we will be building using Azure AI, we will be utilizing Azure AI Foundry and then we will see how we can call our existing functions using the agent to perform certain tasks. So in order to get started, the very first thing you need is the Azure subscription. So make sure that you have logged into the portal and you have your active subscription. Now if you are new to the agents, I would recommend you to watch out my previous video which is all about creating connected agents. So in this video, I already mentioned the basics of the agent, how we can make two agents talk and how we can deploy this particular resource onto the Azure. So if you are new, I would recommend this check it out. But if you are okay and you are well aware about how you can create it, then I would suggest to you to directly jump onto this video. So let's see how we can go ahead with it. So very first thing you need to do is you can get started by creating a resource group. So in my case, I have already created one, which is sample resource. And in this sample resource, I created an instance of Azure AI Foundry. So if you don't know how did I arrive there, I can quickly point you to that. So I would say Azure AI Foundry. So this is the one. And here you can see create, and create a resource. So click on this one and furnish all these details and you will have your AI instance ready. So in my case, like I said, I'm not going to create one because this is already here. So click on this one and click on this button, go to Azure AI Foundry portal. So it will redirect you to completely new page. So this is how the Azure AI Foundry portal looks like. And in this, on the left hand side, you can see that there is something called models plus endpoints. So click on this and here you can click on deploy model, deploy base model and go ahead and deploy your own model, whatever the model you would like to use today. So I have already deployed that thing here, which is GPT-4 Romini. Now again, this step is a bit time consuming. So that's the reason I have already performed this one. Next thing is go to the agents tab using the left hand side panel. And here you can see, uh, let it load. Here you can see new agent. So click on new agent and it will create a new agent for you where you will have your unique agent ID. You can provide some name here. And these are the few things. So here you can see that right now there is nothing inside this. We haven't associated any actions or any tools or functions. So what we are going to do in this video is we want to utilize this particular feature which is custom function. So let's see how we can do this. In order to perform this, we need to write few lines of code here. So uh, the very first thing is you need to grab the project URL from your foundry. So this is your foundry, go to overview, and this is the endpoint I have grabbed it. So, and then I'm utilizing the default credentials. So this part can change for you depending on where you are executing this application. Next thing is we need to associate our custom functions. So in my case, I have created my custom function here. So what this function is doing is, it is going to take a file name and then we'll try to create a new file by placing only this much content into it. So whenever a new file is created, you will see a file is having a content like file created on so and so date. So this is what we are doing here and line number seven. So this is the line which is going to create this file wherever the script is executing. So in our case, right now we are running it locally. So you will see somewhere on my file system. And the most important part here is the custom functions. So using callable, we are associating our all the functions to this custom function so that it can be called later on. So if you're having multiple, then make sure to define all these functions over here. So that's all I have done over here. And this is the file which we are going to use as a tool set or you can say tools. Coming back to our main file in which I am defining uh, functions utilizing the function tool class. So it is going to take the custom functions which is holding all the functions. Then we are utilizing the tool set function because we are going to add functions in the tool set. So that's the reason you can see that. That's the reason you are seeing here tool set dot add equal to functions. And at the end we need to enable this particular feature on the given tool set for this client. So that's what we are doing in line number 16. 
this is the only line of code which we have changed since my last video so in my previous video you must have seen the similar code so let me quickly walk you through this so next thing we are going to create an agent and we need to specify the model which we are using the name of the agent and the instruction so in my case i am saying you are a file manager agent who can create and delete files when user asks you to create a file get the file name from the user and create the file with that name using the functions available to you and then make sure to associate the tool set otherwise it's not going to consider your functions so once this is done next thing is we are creating a thread as usual and then under the thread we are creating the message and then associating that to that particular thread so every message what we are going to create will be the part of the same thread and in this line i am saying asking user to provide the file name and once it is done the rest code is nothing fancy here we are just checking whether a call is failed or not and then we are extracting the message out of our json so let me save this file and then i will show you how it works so i am executing this particular python code and here at the bottom terminal you can see that agent got created thread got created and is asking me to enter the file name so i would say sample data dot text and i'm hoping the agent to go ahead and create this particular file in my this current directory so here you can see message created this file has been successfully created and you can find it on this given path so let's quickly go ahead and check it out so here you can see the sample file got created in the same directory and this is the content so in your case definitely you can write your own function with your own logic and then perform the actions whatever you want so in order to keep this demo simple i just created a file and placed some dummy content into it so this is like the dynamic content which will change whenever you're running the file but idea here is to uh, show you how you can make your local functions accessible to your ai agent so till here everything is fine let's go to our agent and see what is happening over there so this is a sample agent which got created let's click on this one and here you can see this time that under actions we do have something called func so it means that our custom function got associated with this particular agent so if you are having multiple then you will see the entire list over here so that's all i have for today and do let me know in comments like what particular use case are you planning to achieve using these custom functions thanks for watching